Hello and what's up everybody, welcome to another Fish Scale official interview. We got a super dope, special, super special guest with us. Um, he's visiting the city. You just want to get the people, uh, introduce yourself and get the people a little bit about yourself. Uh, what up those Bang Gang Lonnie from Detroit, KOD. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well shoot, first of all I want to say I appreciate your time man, I know this wasn't planned or anything. I appreciate you uh, just really fucking with me. Uh, so just first question I really got is uh, just how you got into music. How what's the first thing that made you want to pick up the mic? Shit, I like them. They're always been in the music for real. Like twelve, thirteen, I got like a GameStop little little mic that you supposed to play the game with. Right, and we downloaded me and my cousin Ben Gang Javar downloaded a program called Go Wave and shit. Start that shit. That's how I really did. It's just years go by. You know how that shit get. Right. Okay. Okay. So, wh- how would you describe like the sound of your music to someone that maybe hasn't listened to you crap before? I mean, shit. It's my music. Them not down there. Don't even make music like everybody. For real. you gotta go check it out. Right. Oh yeah. Um, so shoot, I know you work with a lot of a lot of big artists in like the Detroit scene and, and, and things like that. What are some of your favorite features that that you've been on? Uh, I had to say the features that's with my own team. Like every time the whole TF get together, it be a it be a classic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's dope. That's uh, so what what makes you wanna wanna fuck with like the Colorado scene out here? What what brings you out? Shit, I've been here a couple times on tour dates and shit. I was in the mountains with my family and shit, and I just decided to come down here for a couple of days. Cause I already was fucking with Polo. That's my nigga. Hell yeah, most definitely. Yeah, y'all got that song together. That's that's definitely a hitter. Uh, so down here, a lot of people say that we like bite the Detroit sound and like we kind of like are like biting off your guys' wave with like kind of the way we rap. Uh, we got a lot of like smaller rappers out here that mean shit. That's the sound of the world right now. It ain't just shit. That's what everybody want to rap like. Like they want to hear rapping now. Right. Like they tired of that melodic singing shit. They want to hear rapping. Man, our, our beats fast and like you rap. Niggas talking that street shit, cause every street's the same around the whole world. Ain't nothing different, but niggas lingo the way they talk, the way they dress, man. It's the only difference. Same shit going on everywhere. Most definitely, most definitely. So uh coming up, what would you say like was one struggle or, or one like something that really made you the person that you are today? Shit. Going through shit, you feel me? Young. We started popping rapping at 16, 17 years old. And it was still in the streets. So it was like, nigga went through so much, lost so many people. Shit, made a nigga shit. I'm 25 turning 40. Right, most definitely. Shoot, what, like, what, what's on, what's next for you? Like, what, what's on your radar? You got any, any singles coming out? I got any? a couple of tapes coming out. Got a couple couple of my artist tapes coming out. Okay, okay. Just working. What well, what are the artists uh, that are like kind of like under you? Are you touching with? Got that's the Charged Up crew. That's Glock Boy TJ on Fully the Godfather Peso. Got got a rock star artist called Sad Boy Trip. Got a whole bunch of producers. Come on, P. He been doing my latest shit. I've been working with a big producer lately. I ain't gonna spill the beans. I'm gonna just let y'all see it. Yeah, be on the lookout. And, shit. and the bros got the whole band gang. We about to come back with the band gang album. R.I.P. Pay We R.I.P. Jizzle. R.I.P. Skinny. We about to come back. Okay, okay. Um, would you say you have any, like, like OGs in the game that really, like, put you on a lot of game and, like, uh, Things of that nature, you kind of feel like you like in the of, rap game. Yeah, just or just in general. Only dude. person is Street Lord One. He just came home. Like since he been home, he been like a mentor to me. But like before that, nah. Right. 
Because it's like at the same time, like in our city, we kind of like OGs, pioneers of the music shit. It, cause we was just young as hell. That's just like the same niggas that got the same buzz as us now. When we was 16, 17, they was 25. We 25 now, them niggas 30 something. It just like, but we've been rapping for so long and still consistent. We damn near like pioneers or the goddamn self. So it ain't many, too many, like, because a lot of Detroit rappers got killed, too. You feel me? What uh, what do you think makes, like, the Detroit way? Like, what do you think, like, really stamped the wave? Is there maybe a moment or, like, a, I don't know. I don't know. If it's, it's a wave. Like, yeah, shit, it, it right keep now. going. Then, like, artists like T. Grizzly get big national notoriety. So then everybody like, damn, I want to see who else in Detroit. We was already moving around, you know, 18, 19, going state to state, getting booked for out-of-state shows and all that. So that helped, too. But nationally, like, the people that really count, like, like, like the population of the United States is, I had to give it, I had to give it to T. Grizzly for real. It's yeah, his first day out song right. just and that just brought all the attention there like because it was something like new and people was missing because for a minute it was just all this melodic shit right yeah i feel that he definitely and we talking about the shit that's really going on in the streets like trade music raw as hell we gonna see it raw and uncut how it is that's definitely. damn right niggas be telling themselves. <laughs> a lot of a lot of that in, in, in the songs but, uh, but nigga talking shit in the way of that's how we living though. Hell yeah. What would you say like your creative process is like? Do you you do a lot of writing or is it kind of just off no, the top? No, I, I, I ain't wrote about two three years. Yeah, it's off the top. Now it's, it's like writing in my head. Right. I'm like I don't just do a whole sixteen bar without stopping. I didn't did that before, but that shit like you can't do that every time because you gotta pick different shit to talk about. That shit the same thing though, like writing, it's just writing in my head. And I'm hearing the beat, so I can really switch up when I wanna say what I wanna say. Most definitely. That's dope. That's dope. Um, I know with like corona and everything, the shows are kind of being been put on a hold and, and things like that. How have you like um kind of adapted to that, um, as far as like getting music out to fans and like getting new fans and, and things of that nature? How have you kind of adapted with no shows and Shit, like shows don't really shows don't don't spread the music for real. Well, it, like it's it's consistently keep dropping. Like no matter how much I don't be like doing this music shit, I still work every day. Drop videos, drop songs, little EPs, mixtapes. So I damn I got like ten mixtapes out. Yeah, but last year I ain't drop a solo mixtape. I just been taking my time with this shit again, cause music changed so much. You feel me? And everybody looking at the Detroit wave, it's like everybody you can't. I can't sound like everybody. I refuse to sound like everybody. Right, right. Well, I, well, like you said, you got like you got a large subscriber. Like you said about ten mixtape. What what makes you want to like keep going and keep making music, keep doing features, things of that nature? Shit, I got kids. Got a family depending on me. And I love doing music. Definitely. Well, shoot. Um, you said? Did you say you had you had some had something dropping here soon? What? Like like a taper? Yeah, or yeah. Sure. Just y'all ain't gonna, ain't no dates on it. I've been dropping singles. Right. Okay. Okay. Go get them last singles. I just drop on all platforms. Look at them videos. Taking my time, really doing this shit right. I've been focusing on my artists, though. Yeah, what has that transition really been like as far as, like, being more behind the scenes and being, like, a... It ain't no transition because I always move like that. Even, like, I was the biggest rapper in Detroit. That's why a lot of people, like, I didn't I didn't pass the torch to a lot of people, just genuinely just helping them. Because if I like your music, if I can help you, you feel me? What's a... Uh, what's, one piece of advice you would give to an artist that's coming up and 
and uh, wants to be in your shoes. Shit, just be you. That's it. Just be you. Do what you take your time, really perfect your craft, and be you. Don't let nobody tell you not to be you. Okay, okay. Um, so I just got some more, some like rapid type, rapid fire type questions to just uh, wrap it up. Uh, so first one is when you was at home coming up and you didn't have really have too much food at home. What was like your go to snack that you always had? Shit, cereal and noodles. Oh my God. Um, next one would be say, say you're on a road trip, you got to drive like Detroit to Colorado. You, you can't take a flight and you can only bring like three tapes or like albums, projects, whatever. You can only bring three to listen to. What three would you bring? Uh, Tupac, all eyes on me. Uh, the fifty cent get rich or die trying. Damn, the third one, and I had to bring uh. A R and B singer named Kim Chemistry Part Two of his album, cause I can't just sit in the car and just listen to rap music that motherfucking long. Like I really like an old yeah. nigga for real old soul. I got a whole old school playlist that I listen to. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, this one is like a finish a finish the sentence type, um, but it's say what you want, but don't say this. Oh, you saying like like like. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't explain that well. It's like a finish the sentence. Um, say what you want, but don't say this. Just say what you want, but don't say I ain't put you niggas on. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Um, last one. Um, you know, they always say music is like timeless and things like that. What's, what's like one maybe song that you listen to and it could just take you back to a certain time? Being gang pay will get it how you live. Cause at that time, that's when life was fun. That's when we was just popping, rapping. We the hottest niggas in the city. We damn near kids. We on the block every day. Nigga ain't never ain't we ain't had no beef until we started rapping. Right, that's how it be. Do you think it's dangerous being a rapper? Yeah, if you make it dangerous, like yeah, it is. Cause you feel me. You got a face card now. Now, if you really into some shit, then certain shit you say and certain shit can just spark up a whole bunch of other shit. Then the police is just arrest niggas because niggas making it out. Niggas talking about they past life. Niggas ain't you feel me? You can't still do that and still rap full time. You can't have no record deal and still be killing people and selling dope like. You too busy for that, and you can't do it anyway. Right. Oh yeah. Um, what are some some videographers out in like the the Detroit area that are that are cold, or maybe just some ones that you enjoy working with? Because I uh, it's a code like uh, art, art by art, lace visuals, uh, Swizzmatic, uh, Jimmy Whispers. There's a whole bunch of hard motherfuckers. But personally, that's who do my, like, my videos, that's from Detroit. I'll be having all type of people do my videos, whoever, the hard. I ain't tripping. Right. Okay, okay. Well, shoot, that, this has been a dope interview. I appreciate your time. That's really all the questions I got. Is there anything else you want to speak on or get into? No, it's all good. Appreciate you. Most definitely. Hell yeah. This game, this game, this game, yeah, this game, this game, this game.